Hello everyone, it is Alana again today, and today I have a confession to make. I too get angry and frustrated, um, and usually it's at things that are very little and really don't matter in the grand scheme of things. So today I'm coming to you with a kind of check-in with my own personal experiences, and before we really get into it, apologies for the fluctuating light. I'm dealing with natural light here, so it's just gonna keep changing. Anyway, um, but yeah, so today, um, I mean, it's been a long day. I did lots. I woke up early and I took a bus to, uh, from a friend's place to... <laughs> not a friend's place, uh, from my boyfriend's place to my place, um, early in the morning, and then I went to school, and then came, went back to my place, and, like, did some cooking, and then, like, went back to his place, and, and then I forgot something, and then I had to get a card from him, and then I got on the wrong bus, and then I finally got here, and, whew, it's been a long day. It's just one of those days where, you feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. I've been thinking about like, oh my god, I need to get housing for next September. I need to get a job for the summer. I need a bike because my bike got stolen. I need to <laughs> finish all these assignments uh, before I have my finals, which are also stressful. So lots of stuff going on. And then when just the little things go wrong, you just feel like, oh my god, like, I've lost it, I've lost my shit, I don't, like, I don't know what I'm doing, ah, and it's horrible. Um, <laughs> so I'm here to tell you that, you know, I do it too, it's okay, it happens, and when it happens, um, I kind of check myself. Usually, it'll take me a little while, it'll take me like an hour or so, um, and I'm like, okay, fine. I'm really irritable. I'm being grumpy for fairly no reason. Oh, let's look at the legitimacy of these annoyances. Okay, so I forgot something. Well, it happens, and luckily I could get that thing from somebody else, and, it, and then it worked out in the end. Okay, well, you got on the wrong bus, but the detour wasn't that long. And since you got out of class early, then you're still showing up earlier than you would have. So there's the pros um, that I kind of remind myself. And then also just kind of the whole thing like, okay, these are my problems right now. I'm not in debt. I'm not having a serious medical condition. I am not fighting for any rights or liberties that are being... Um, rights or freedoms uh, that are being withheld from me. So, you know, I've got the basics of life. I have food, I have shelter, um, and really it's these are just little things that I'm worrying about. And why am I worrying about it? You know, if I just went with the flow and what dealt with things as they came along, I wouldn't be getting as stressed and I wouldn't be getting as frustrated. Um, and that really goes to a lot of different things. As soon as you find yourself, you know, worrying about the future, worrying about things that you can't really control in the moment, you know, let's say it is still March and your finals are in April. Why are you worrying about your finals now in March when you're only going to start studying, like, at the beginning of April for those finals? So really you should be worrying about, you know, the stuff that is due now, the stuff that you are needing to do now. Don't get me wrong, it's good to plan ahead, you know, if you, if you need to find a job for the summer, then yeah, start looking, and it's okay. But if things take longer than you think it's going to be, or whatever, don't compare yourself to where other people are at, because maybe, who knows, you know, it's the luck of the draw sometimes with these things. Someone might get a job pretty early um, for the summer, and you might be, find one, you know, just before the summer starts. So it's okay. Everything will kind of happen 
in their own due time. But when we start comparing and like looking at other people and worrying about things that we can't really deal with in the present moment, then we just get unnecessarily stressed out and frustrated. So in summary, it all kind of comes down back. It all kind of comes back to presence and being present in the moment and just focusing on what you can what you can change what you can tackle now and not worrying about things that are out of your control or just aren't relevant to where you are right now so stay present keep calm and don't worry about things that you don't really need to worry about now or really at all. I hope this helps and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.